But the point of having those systems and structures yeah. in place is so it's like, even if I felt like, you know, engaging an urge or an impulse that day, mm. I can't. Yeah, it's physically too difficult for yeah, me to do it. Too much run around. I got to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then I got to pay... I got to pay this fee to pull it here yeah. and this fee to pull it. Like, you go ahead and I, you call it, um, isolate. What is the word I'm looking for? You, um, you, damn, we both know the word we're talking about. You compartmentalize. Mm, yes, no? but no. Okay. Uh, when you, when you put yourself in a fortress, you fortify. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fortify the money in such a way where it's more difficult for you to use, yeah. unless it's an emergency, than it is for you to just flippantly go and yank it because. Yeah. You want to remove the convenience from it. Absolutely. Because if it is convenient, there's a much higher probability that you spend it on something that you shouldn't or something that you think you need Mm -hmm. or you think you need now, but can wait. And you could take the money from, you could take the yield that you're, and and start stacking it and prolong the purchase. Yeah. You know, and I've said this on an episode before, but one of my old mentors, Ben Jackson, I guess he's still a mentor. He's older than me. Yeah. Uh, also, he just recently had an addition to his family. Congratulations if you happen to be listening to this. Um, but one thing he told me several years ago, I think it was shit, it was probably like 2013 or 2014, he had said that um, if you can't afford to buy something twice, mm. you can't afford it. Because the idea being, at least his practice, so if he wants to go buy a Raptor, this is the story he was telling, he's like, I want to go get the Raptor you know, like, let's call it 80 grand. It's like, but if I can't buy two of them right now and still be, you know, solid solid, and have everything else the way I want it to, then for me right now, I can't afford it. Because what he does, he recommended, is when you go buy that Raptor, drop the 80 grand. You then take another 80 grand and you throw that in your long-term savings that you don't touch. So if you can't afford to remove 80 grand from your liquid pot, in addition to the 80 grand that's going to come out of the pocket for buying that thing, so that's the idea. If you, if you can't buy it twice, you can't afford it. And for some people, it's like, damn, well, I don't like that because then that's me a whole lot of shit I can't afford. It's like, all right, well then. Figure out your cash flow. Figure out your cash flow. And, uh, and there's so many things one can do to systematize, to optimize exactly how they live their life. And that's one thing we teach people how to really leverage blockchain tech to build these automatic wealth generating streams, how to actually secure their funds in a way that keeps it very inconvenient to spend, but actually keeps it secure and not just like, oh, well, I believe the bank when they tell me my money's there, you know, but hopefully we don't all want to go get our money on the same day because then we all fucked, right? Yeah. Some people are more fucked than others. And you just can't get past it, man. If you don't know how to tithe to yourself, so that you can be in a better position to activate and deploy your capital so that it can grow on autopilot and eventually live off of the interest earned and not touch the principal, you're going to be struggling financially. I ain't going to say you're going to be broke, but you damn sure won't be wealthy. You won't. And uh, for those of you that have made it thus far that still can't get over Save on calling you a god. Uh, even if you don't believe that you are, this still applies. Even if you pull up on church every Sunday and you don't believe you're a god, still, minimum, take 10% of everything and throw it in somewhere where it can make you more money. Goodness. We're, <laughs> we're so willing to subscribe aggressively run devout on a handful of things, but why is it that we can't get these personal finances in check? 